All right, so last time I talked to you guys, I have my floor in. All right, the floor is in. I built this uh, the bench, pretty much, for some storage. I'll build one on that side and one on the opposite side, and then have my passenger chair there, my captain chair there. That should be good as far as seating, plus I got the seating in the front. I need to get the cushions redone, but it's up, it's there, and I got my storage compartments down up under there, as you can see. Got me some little storage compartments down in there. So that's not bad. Oh, they're pretty big. They'll work, you know, shoes, uh, slippers, whatever. Um, I got me a first aid kit, which I could probably stick under there. It'd be nice. So anyway, we get those upholstered. Uh, finished building my bench here, which I think it'll work out pretty good. It looks, um, I'm going to bulk it up some more, but it's pretty solid the way it's sitting. Hell, I sat on it. My son sat on it. Um, uh, hell, both of us, no problem. So, I don't know if you can see, with my floor in, I actually cut out a hole, which was, I hope I do this right, but basically what I did is I cut that hole out right there, and I got my foam in, U.S. Composites, which, it came pretty fast, it came pretty fast, it was packaged well. You know, we'll see how it works. I've I've heard, I've seen a couple videos, you know, and I've uh, uh, checked out a couple sites that I was able to find reviews on. Everybody says it works really well. I got the two-pound marine foam, urethane, uh, pore foam. That's part A, part B. Uh, this is supposed to give you eight cubic feet. So. I kind of did the math. I hope I'm kind of right on it. I hope I'm pretty close. So I got about 17 cubic feet total. Uh, so I got two kits, which would give me 16 cubic feet. So I come short a cubic foot or so. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. It's more to add buoyancy to the to the boat itself. Uh, the structure of the boat with the wood and everything else. I mean, it'll float. This is supposed to help it float. And if you were to take on water, it wouldn't just fill up and sink. This is a closed cell. Um, it's a closed cell material. It's a closed cell chemical. So it could resist water. It won't soak it up like, you know, like a sponge. Uh, but it will, after time, you know, after years or whatever of exposure to it, it will start to soak it up and it can mess it up. But, you know, that's if you have it sitting in water. 24-7 or something like that then yeah but splash some water on it and apparently what they say is it's not supposed I mean it bounces off it rolls off so it doesn't let it soak it up so like I said I got about 17 uh, cubic feet and that's total but I got the ski locker which I'm not foaming out and then the two compartments in the front which I'm not foaming out as well as where the gas tank is which I'm not foaming out so I'm figuring, you know, overall maybe 13 cubic feet as opposed to 17 cubic feet, which is total length, depth, and width. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see if I have any left. We'll see if I come up short. I'm gonna do the major parts first. Yeah, that back side over there. This side over here. That's pretty much it because. Well, I might do the center part. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that. But yeah, I might do that center part, which is a little, just a, uh, I don't know, maybe two feet by a foot and a half or so. So it's not much. And that's probably the deepest part, which is only about six, eight inches deep. So, uh, from what I understand, if you want to do the cubic foot... Uh, calculations uh, you know of course you can look it up online and if you don't know because I, I wasn't too familiar with it but it's it's height uh, width and length so all three of those multiplied together will give you the cubic foot <coughs> all right so what I did is I got me these little cups here all right they so got me part B Let's see. Oh, 
Alright, here we go. See that here? I got part A and part B because I don't want to mix them in the cup on accident and have that stuff explode or blow up or whatever it does. Uh, then I got me an actual measuring cup. <coughs> you know, got me four ounces. I don't know if you can see that very well. Probably not, but got me four ounces there, two ounces there. Got six ounces there. The cup itself is about eight ounces. So. I figure I'll start off with two ounces and see what happens. Do the same thing for part B. Two, six, four, you know. You see right there. So then I'm gonna take that, get all that, and pour it in this one. Just a, just a bucket. I'll clean that out a little bit. And mix it up in there real good and pour it in and we're going to see what happens. Uh, apparently I only have a couple seconds to actually mix this stuff up and pour it in there. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm going to do a little test strip maybe and see if it doesn't blow up on me. Uh, they have the, you know, caution on opening. Uh, don't puncture it. Don't, uh, you know, wear your safety stuff, eyeglasses, uh, gloves, I got some gloves on, you know, so, yeah, um, so I am going to give this a shot, and uh, once I get most of it done or some of it done, I'll go ahead and, you know, try to make another video for you guys, so you guys see how, how it's progressing, or if I've not ruined the whole thing, so I wish me luck.